as you know, West Africa is uh, mainly of Sahelian climate. And then it, in this regard, one of the key climate risks is the, 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 drought, the drought issue. Because climate variability is very, very high in West Africa. Some farmers are already used to, but due to climate change, this variability has increased the, during the last decades. And then they are no longer able to cope with this, uh, this uh, let's say, climate variability. So this is really the key issue in terms of climate change uh, risk. But let's say most of the main crop in this region, uh, namely sorghum and millet, uh, are really uh, suffering these uh, last uh, years. Let's say during these last 20 years, we observed that the varieties of these crops that, that people are actually using uh, in the traditional way are no longer adapted. And that's way the, where the research component should come in in order to produce new adapted varieties. We know that in this region there are two or three peaks of uncertainty in terms of uh, rainfall availability. And the first one is the, uh, at the beginning of the rainy season, where farmers usually are struggling to know exactly at what time they have to start sowing. And I can give you an example. Most of the time, farmers have to sow two or three times every rainy season because they, they can get a first big rain event, which is really enough to sow. So they go to the, to the field, start uh, sowing, and then just after this, a long period of drought appear, and then the, the seed lines will die. They have to restart, to re-sow in some way, and so on. So this is a crucial problem, mainly because at that time, most of the farmers have no longer uh, sufficient and enough seeds. So it's a big problem for them. And some farmers are sometimes obliged to change the crop they would like really to, to grow because they don't have the seeds. We cannot talk about climate change uh, impact or effect without thinking about adaptation and mitigation and then to development in general. So we need to make sure we have the policy makers with us. And for that we need the relevant climate information to guide and inform their decision making. And this is really what CCAF is really willing to, to achieve in the very uh, early stage of, of our activities. Be able to produce from existing information, scientific information, but also indigenous knowledge, because farmers also have their, their own knowledge that can be relevant for adaptation and mitigation. So in this regard, most of the time, what appears from what they say is that uh, what is happening now uh, regarding drought severity is higher than what they observe, for instance, 10 years ago. Another thing that, that they observe is that they observe that now there is more flooding than before, meaning that through flooding, they can uh, have uh, 200 millimeter rainfall a day, but at the end of the rainy season, they will still suffer for, from very, very severe droughts, which was not happening uh, 10 years or 20 years ago. So this is 
uh, really the, a good sign to express uh, climate change by farmers.